Today, I'm going to be showing you how to get and use this piggy script UI with plenty of features. Enjoy. Alright guys, so once you're in the script link in the description, you should see this page and of course you're going to want to copy the script. Then you guys are going to want to load it into your game and take your executor and as you can see right there, today I'm going to be using Synapse. Synapse does cost $20 but you guys can get a chance to get it for free and all you need to do is leave a like. Make sure to be subscribed down below and comment something nice and do that until we hit our subscriber goal which right now is 70k and we're like 5k away so if you guys help me get to that goal you might be one of the few lucky winners or you can become a member by just clicking on the blue join button down below and by clicking on the blue join button and becoming a member you will also join the member giveaway for one key instead of seven for the active people but if you guys don't want to do any of that that's okay you can also use the free executor like omega x and the last link in the description but let's paste the script let's make sure our executor is injected and then we're going to want to execute it and once you guys have executed your script you should see this and this is going to be your hack right so you got a few sections you got local player you got utilities you got teleportation it got visuals and credits. Now guys, before we do anything else, before we load in, remember, you're gonna have to execute your GUI. So this little menu, you're going to have to do it right here on the same screen that I'm at, or else uh, Piggy encrypts, it's like all its files and stuff. So if you in execute your script while you're inside a game already, most of the features will not work. So make sure to do it before you click play all right guys so just letting you know uh but anyways let's jump into the game right now okay so uh yeah let's start off with our local player all right guys so we got walk speed you guys know what walk speed is but if you don't know what walk speed is it's just how fast you walk so we can turn that up to like 30 and our 30 walk speed or we can turn it up all the way to 100 this is 94 but you guys get the idea like i was saying though obviously the speed is pretty good you know uh being this fast can definitely help you outrun the piggy so that's why i would use this feature but uh let's just leave our walk speed at 44 that's a pretty good pace which isn't too fast but it's not too slow right uh we also have jump power which is how high we jump this is a normal jump power but we can actually turn it up and now we can like jump really high, you know, we can jump here. No one can get us now, all right? Uh, so you can like troll your friends and be like, hey, come up here, guys. You can't, all right? So I guess that's kind of cool. And you can run away from the piggy. Dude, I'm right here. Where, where are you going? All right. Well, anyways, uh, let's move on to our, our next feature, which is our gravity. You guys know what gravity is, or at least I hope you do. But anyways. You got 196.2 gravity default, but you can change that, right? So we can have 12 gravity, which is pretty much zero gravity. Let's turn that back all the way to normal. Uh, so you can change your gravity. And of course, the lower the number, the more you float. You guys know what zero gravity is. You know, you know, in the movies, they float around. The lower you put the number, the more you float around. And the less you put the number, the less you float around. So that's a pretty good explanation in my opinion, but that's pretty much what the gravity does. It's just normal gravity, right? We also have our field of view, and if you guys don't know what your FOV is, it's it's pretty much what you see. So the higher we put it, the more we see, the lower we put it, the less we see. Default is of course just fine, but if you guys are trying to sweat and piggy, you know, see a little bit of extra stuff, you can turn up your FOV if you really want to. I'm not, cause I'm just not so yeah we also got fly speed which is how fly, how fast you fly once when, when you have fly on we're gonna get to that in two other features uh so we got no clip we can walk through this obviously you know why would you be able to walk through a wall but if you turn on no clip you guys as you can see clearly i can walk through any walls any obstacle oh my gosh <laughs> okay like I say, any obstacle I want. Even I can literally go inside the victory vault. Like, this is where you go once you finish the game. But we didn't finish the game, and I ended up killing myself because 
I somehow ran into this piggy. Like, what is my luck? I, <laughs> anyways, we also have infinite jump. So this is our normal jump, right, guys? But if we turn on infinite jump and we start spamming jump, look. So we can pretty much fly. It's kind of like a fly. But the reason I like this. Oh no. <laughs> okay, okay. Now we're good. We're good. So, oh, can I can I kill this lady? Let me turn on my walk speed. Yeah, yeah. Now what are you gonna do? Yeah, yeah. This is the move, guys. Play piggy and turn up your walk speed, because then people will not be able to do anything. Okay, don't turn it up that fast, because it's kind of anti-cheat detecting me. Uh, but anyways, like I was saying. Okay, so let's say I'm walking around. I'm a normal guy, but I don't want to die from some random guy. So they they're cut or yeah, I don't want to die from the piggy. So I'm like, okay, let me walk around. Oh, the piggy's right behind me. You double jump a few times and you're floating. So now what you can do is just go on the building and chill out until the piggy goes away. So that's what that is. You also have fly. Like I said, you guys know what fly is. You pretty much just, once you have turn on fly, you just walk around normally, except it's in the sky. So that's what that is. Anyways though, that's all. Uh, we also have utilities, which is the next section. So let's move on to that. First off, we got infinite traps, super sick, you know, infinite traps. You can just spam them everywhere and hopefully someone will get stuck in them. You also have remove traps, pretty helpful if you're a player, right? A normal player, not a piggy. You also got remove death triggers, so that will make it so there's no way for you to die, including like piggies, so now you're pretty much invincible, kind of like god mode. You also got remove doors, really handy feature. I love this one because like some places do need you like a key to get in and there's a door but now you can remove all the doors right you also got disarm traps which will disarm all the traps you got toggle all doors which i'm not that sure if it yeah okay guys so look over here the doors it just opens and closes them temporarily nothing crazy pretty cool we also got loop toggle all doors i i, I don't understand the loop maybe opens and closes them. I'm not that sure, but that's, we got that. <laughs> and lastly, we got open all safes. Once again, pretty self-explanatory, open all safes. All right, guys, moving on to some of the next features. I am the trader. Okay, I did not expect that. Anyways, let's continue. So we got click teleport. And if you guys don't know what click teleport is from the name, pretty much you turn it on and everywhere you click, you're gonna teleport. So let me show you that right now, right as we load in. So here we are, we're actually the trader. I did not expect that, but it happened, right? So let's say we wanna teleport to that corner. I can not teleport, but if we turn on, click teleport and we click, we teleport to the corner. If we wanna teleport back to the door, we teleport back, we wanna go to that corner, Okay, that was a bit of a fail, but we're close enough to the corner, you know, that's a, that's enough of an improvement. Let's move on to the next option, which this one is really cool, guys. I've shown you plenty of GYs which only have this feature, but now you have it as an extra feature. So I guess it's kind of cool, but pretty much what you can do is teleport to any item in the game. So let's say we want to teleport to the gun. Here's a gun inside the safe but we need a purple key to open it. So we'll teleport to the purple key and then we'll teleport back to the gun. So let's find the gun. Here it is. We open it, right? Come on, open up. There you go. And just like that, we got the gun. Like it's so, it's so cool. I really like te this teleport option and you got all these options. You got everything you need to finish the game, guys. Like everything you need to finish is here because it's literally every, every item in the game you know so it's pretty cool i definitely recommend you try it out at least once just see how it is but anyways let's move on to our visuals so we got enemy player esp enemy esp and item esp so this is all just the base you know you got your health you can turn that on or off if you want to see their health uh now I don't, so I'm gonna turn that off. So we don't need that. We also got our trace. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. Relax, relax. Jeez, that's that's scary. That I need to get out of here. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, anyways, we got tracers. If you wanna show tracers or not, 
I don't want to. Okay, guys, we're good. We don't need tracers and distance. How far away they are. Now, I think usually it's not really important, but I guess this can be pretty helpful, right? So let me actually see if I can kill one of these guys just like as an experiment. Okay, I, ca I cannot. I cannot. Okay, let me get out of here. I don't want to be here. All right. Oh my gosh. Okay, hello. Hello. I don't want to talk to you. All right, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're fine. Okay, guys. Oh my. Is this guy following me? Are you serious? What the heck? Get out of here, Orange Goose 5. Okay, you know what? I can uh, be he. Oh! Oh my god! Oh, okay. What, what was that? Why were you hiding in the vents? Okay, whatever, guys. Let me. Uh, okay, that was quite unfortunate, but I'm the only player in the lobby. All right. Uh, let me show you guys the credits. So we can also unlock FPS. Pretty cool feature. I'd recommend it if you guys don't already have a FPS unblocker or unlocker, should I say. Uh, and you also got per improved performance, which is kind of like a, it'll, it'll mostly delete all your, your textures and stuff like that to help your game run better. So that's what that is. And we also got our toggle GUI button. Pretty self-explanatory, right? Open and big, open and big. So you can do that. And our script creator made the UI and the script. So pretty cool. But uh, let me show you the last feature real quick and we'll end off the video. Alrighty, here we are guys in the last game. Uh, let me turn on the rainbow setting. So now you see everything is rainbow. In my opinion, I wouldn't use this because like you can tell who's like your enemy from the name color. You know, it's a red. So I wouldn't turn rainbow on, but rainbow is cool. You guys know that. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed. And if you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe down below. And remember, we are trying to hit 7k subscribers. And once we hit that, we will be doing a Synapse X giveaway for seven keys. So if you guys are trying to enter, all you need to do is leave a like. Be subscribed down below and comment something nice on the videos you guys watch. So just make sure to be active on the channel. And once we hit 70k, if you are active, you will have a chance to get a free key. Or you can just become a member by clicking on that blue join button down below. Like all these guys right here did. Thank you guys for becoming members and joining the channel. It really helps to support the channel and helps me do these giveaways, right? So anyways, thank you for sticking along until the end. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you all in the next one. See you guys.